Carol in Rustington with a question for you. Hi, Carol. Oh, hi. Um, I keep having this um, reoccurring dream. Um, sometimes I'm, I'm looking for a toilet, uh-huh. and sometimes I'm going down long alleyways and I can't find it. Sometimes when I find a toilet, there's a long queue. Um, and another time when I get to the toilet, it's all overflowing and it's all over the floor and you're walking through it. Another time, um, the toilet is just a hole in the floor and there's no toilet there and you're sort of squatting. And another time, there's no door and there's all this queue of people and you're having to go to the loo and there's no door. So what on earth is that all about? We need these sorted out, don't we, Carol? Come on, Ian. (laughs) Okay, this is this is quite a common dream, Carol. And is it? We, yes, when we when we dream about a toilet, if we think in real life, what we use a toilet for, we use it for getting rid of stuff that we don't need anymore. So, in a dream, when we're looking for a toilet, there is something in our life that we don't need anymore that we're trying to move on from, and it can be some sort of situation that we're in that we feel is no longer serving us, and we need to move on. It can just be something that, that's just no longer working for us. It's no longer healthy for us and we're getting no positive things from at all, so we're just trying to get rid of it. So looking down all these alleyways, usually we do that, um, it usually reflects some sort of work situation. So there's something in in your public life or in your workplace that you're trying to get rid of. When you get to a toilet and there's a long queue, that usually means that you're trying to help other people with what they need to do before you actually help yourself with your own needs. And the same thing when you get to the toilet and it's overflowing, that the toilet's reached its capacity and you can't actually unload all the stuff that you need to unload. And the same time when it's a hole in the floor and there's there's no door, especially with no door, it means that you have to do this unloading and getting rid of what you need to get rid of in public. And that can be quite embarrassing and make make you feel vulnerable. So what's happening with all these dreams, Carol, is there is something in your life that you need to move on from and just get rid of and as you do that, the toilets in your dreams in the future will be all gleaming and hygienic and really lovely to be in. Oh, great. Thank that's, you. That's I think really... I know what you're talking about, actually. Oh, what, 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 what is it? Can, can you share that no, with us, Carol? No, I can't. Not, okay. not, but, not on the radio, But no. you've got something that yeah. you need to get rid of. Yeah. So get rid, get yeah. sorted. And it's good to know that you're not weird. It's a common dream. Oh, yeah, it is, actually. It's reassuring, isn't it? Good, <laughs> Carol. Right, lovely. Thank you. Nice to talk to you. Bye. Take care of yourself. And good luck unloading all those troubles. There's Carol in Rustington. And Ian, thank you very much. We must move on as well. So uh, thank you very much indeed for your time today. Really enlightening stuff. And... Uh, it's, it's, it's great interpretations. Thanks a lot, Ian. Thank you, Daniel. I really enjoyed it. Cheers. We'll see you next time around. It's 11.30. We'll update you on weather and travel next.